اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to talk about how to use ChatGPT with his process macro in SPSS and understand moderation analysis. Now the model and that we are going to use is a model 1 of his process macro. So model 1 A that is the first moderation model with continuous moderator. Now in this example I've got one predictor, one DV and one moderator. and model 1 in this case assumes that the iv is continuous and in this case i'm taking a continuous variable whereby it can be dichotomous as well now any moderators are continuous though dichotomous moderators can be handled as well now in this case i'm taking all my variables in the model as continuous and let's see what our example is and how to run moderation analysis so go to analyze regression and we are going to use his process macro and what is my x variable my x variable is culture my dv is organizational performance and my moderator is role ambiguity and i'm choosing model 1 now go to options generate code for visualizing interactions now this is to visualize the interaction that is slope analysis you can have all variables that define products let's see we do need mean centering now in this case since all are continuous so it's better to mean center now let's have on the conditional values minus mean and plus that is lower level of moderator average level of moderator and higher level of moderator so how does the relationship change at each level of the moderator and johnson neiman output as well now let's press continue and let's press okay to get our results first obviously we will check whether we ran the right model yes y was op x was culture ra was my moderator that is fine the sample size is fine the outcome variable now in this case the output or the outcome variable is op have a look here So let's say this is y this is my op this is x this is my independent variable culture and this is w which is my moderator ra now the statistical diagram is you've got x here you've got w here and then you've got one more additional variable in this case let's say and that is the product of x and w now if this product is significant this will tell us yes there is moderation so the moderator is moderating the relationship if the interaction effect is significant so you will see interaction effects whenever you are doing moderation analysis now if you come back here and we will see this model here let's have a look here it is so your outcome variable is op this is the model summary we are going to look into this the model and this is your interaction interaction of the iv and the moderator and its impact on outcome variable here is product terms key so interaction 1 is the interaction of culture into ra and we are going to look into all these results but step wise let's copy this into word so that we can easily understand it now here are the results so we have already ran our analysis and this is the output So description of the model we have already discussed this model summary now the first thing is you get your model summary where as you've got an r value r square mse f df and all other statistics i'm not interested in all these statistics what i'm interested in in this case is r that is the overall correlation now this is r square this is what i'm interested in if you multiply this with 100 you will get 36.4% and this would mean that 36.4% change in op is being accounted by these three here these three predictors culture ra and the interaction of culture and ra now overall is this significant yes overall your model is significant so these variables here predictors are predicting the outcome variable now moving on 
the model itself the culture as a predictor the coefficient is positive this shows that there is a positive relationship between culture and op is it significant yes it is significant the p value is less than 0 0.05 the lower level and upper co level confidence interval does not have a zero in between what is this negative sign and this is your moderator so the moderator itself has a negative impact on organizational performance that is when you increase role ambiguity it decreases the organizational performance is it significant yes it is significant what about the interaction effect the moderation analysis the role of moderator is it significant in the relationship between culture and op yes it is significant look at this less than 0 0.05 there is no zero in between here the t statistics is greater than 1.96 and the coefficient is approaching 0 0.10 with a negative relationship. Now, what does this negative relationship mean? This negative relationship means that RA weakens the relationship between culture and OP. Now, when I say RA weakens the relationship between culture and OP, I should understand that the relationship between culture and OP is positive. So RA, which is my moderator, and in this case, it's negative. The interaction effect is negative. So RA weakens the positive relationship between culture and OP. Culture into RA is my interaction effect. And is this weakening effect significant? Yes, it is significant. So the R square change. So how much is the change in R square because of the interaction effect? It's 0 0.0143. So 1.4% 1 change is can be accounted to your interaction. Now, is it significant? Yes, it is significant. The next thing is you've got Johnson and Neiman output. Now, let's have an understanding of the output as well. Just hold on. Now, here it is. Now, here are, is one more thing. Let's move this to a new page. So your predictor variable is culture, your moderating variable is RA. What is this conditional effects of focal predictor, that is culture, on the outcome at the different values of the moderator? So what if your role ambiguity is low? If your role ambiguity is low, the effect of culture on performance is this. And is it significant? Yes, it is significant. At mean level of role ambiguity, the effect size is this. Now, at higher level of role ambiguity, the effect size is this. Now, look at the effect sizes. These are the effect sizes, the path coefficient from culture to OP at different levels of moderator. And if we see here, as you increase the role ambiguity from low to mean to high, your effect size decreases. So, role ambiguity negatively affects the relationship. And at all three levels, it is significant because the p-value is less than 0.05. Now, here is Johnson Neiman output. Now here look at this our role ambiguity and the effect size. Role ambiguity, effect size. So I keep on that this is let's say weak role ambiguity. Now I keep on increasing role ambiguity, keep on increasing it, increasing, increasing, increasing. Now look at the p-values here. As I increase the role ambiguity, you should look at the p-values here in this column here. Now look at this here. So there comes a point when if you further increase role ambiguity, it's not going to change, weaken the relationship between culture and OP. So it becomes insignificant here. So this is the point whereby if you further increase role ambiguity, then the impact of culture on performance is not moderated by role ambiguity. That is not significantly moderated. This is what Johnson Neiman output will tell you. Moving on, this is how you can draw your graph and we are going to talk about it as well. Now here is the output, but before we do and go for the output and understand these results, let's use ChatGPT. Now that we understand the whole concept of it, let's use ChatGPT for it. I ran model 1 from his process macro to assess the moderating role of role ambiguity 
on the relationship between culture and performance following are the results so you give the results to chat gpt let's see how we can give the results now culture culture had a significant impact on op the beta is equal to what was the beta value so let me write them here it's much easier so beta value was 0.5022 comma p is equal to 0 0.000 role ambiguity had a significant impact on op and the beta value was minus and the p value was less than 0 0.001 or 0 0.000 interaction effect culture into role ambiguity was significant so what was the beta and the r square was 0 0.3641 now let's keep following are the results now what are the results i want to show here just look at this conditional effects so let's copy this copy for now i guess this is more than enough and now we can ask ChatGPT to give us the interpretation paste it and let's run it so here is the detailed interpretation of the analysis now again it's very detailed let me ask ChatGPT. okay stop generating can you present the results in the form of APA style to be written in the results section. Let's see what we get. Here it is. So let's see. Once it completes, I'm going to read it and see what, whether it makes sense or not. Yes, it makes sense actually. So multiple and regression analysis, obviously, so 36.4% change is being explained by the, the three predictors. The culture was found to have a significant impact on OP and then role ambiguity was also significant. And furthermore, the interaction was significant. And this, uh, this suggests that the relationship between culture and OP varied depending on the level of role ambiguity. Yes, there is moderation. To examine the conditional effects of the focal predictor now at different level of the moderators here are the results and this or the findings support the hypothesized moderating role of role MBVD on the relationship between culture and performance now how do we get the graph the slope so to do so what we are going to do is we are going to copy this text here where is it go down here it is let's copy this and what we are going to do is we are going to go to file new and syntax file new syntax you can paste it here select it and run it now here is the graph done as well now i'm just going to discuss this let me copy this 
into the word document at the end here so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the lines so for that much easier let's go to shapes and let's draw the lines here here it is now let's do the other line here it is now let's do the other line here it is so this is minus 1.37 level and plus 1.37 now if you look here this line here is higher level of role ambiguity the average level of role ambiguity low level of role ambiguity now which one is much steeper now if you look here you'll see that this here the first line which is low level of role ambiguity is much steeper in comparison to the other lines now when you've got low role ambiguity if you increase or improve the culture it leads to a better change in organizational performance however at low, higher level of role ambiguity even though you are increasing your culture it's not leading to a steeper or higher or better increase in the organizational performance so in order to interpret the slope you need to see the steepness of gradient which one is steeper in comparison to the other now here the the low and high are more or less the same so it can help you interpret that although you are increasing culture at higher level of the moderating effect this one the last line at higher level of the moderator although you are increasing culture it not it is not leading to a similar change in op as is is when the in when you have a lower level of role ambiguity so how do you put it in writing here it is let's have a look now i've done this another graph uh, this is from another excel sheet so here you can look here as and see this here the low role ambiguity this is much steeper in comparison to high role ambiguity now the study assess the moderating role which we have already understood now this is what I'm interested in based on the simple slope analysis conducted to better understand the nature of moderating effects. So if your moderation is significant, please do report slopes. And this is shown in figures here. Now, as can be seen in figure one, the line is much steeper for low role ambiguity. So when you have got low role ambiguity, the first line here, it's much steeper. This shows that at low level of role ambiguity, if you increase the culture, this leads to a sharper increase or a stronger increase in the organizational performance in comparison to high RA, which is the line here. So at high RA, if you are increasing the culture, it's not leading to a similar increase in performance. So this means that role ambiguity moderates the relationship between CC and OP and the interaction was significant as well. Now moving on and let's do one last thing here. Johnson Neiman output. Copy it. Now let's ask ChatGPT following are the results from Johnson Neiman output from his process macro model one. Can you interpret the results? Let's see what we get. Or you can be more specific and tell ChatGPT so moderation was run and this was your independent dependent this was your moderator and it can be more detailed so the moderator point two point nine two eight one is the threshold that divides the moderator variable into the regions of statistical significance here it is look at this as I mentioned earlier so if you increase her role ambiguity this is the level when you keep on increasing it this is the level that after this even if you increase it it does not moderate the relationship and this is what johnson neiman output is telling me so this is how you can use chat gpt with his process macro to understand moderation results thank you very much